People immediately get surprised if I'm showing shoes that are not like, I don't know, Gucci or Bottega. Dobre utra, or good morning in Russian. It's actually very similar to Serbian, so it's Dobre utra, or Dobro jutro. Dobro jutro. Like, very similar, right? It's so interesting learning a new language, and it's really helpful in, like, social situations. I actually, last night, didn't set up alarm. I said this is going to be my first day that I wake up without alarm, and I woke up at, like, 8.30. It's 8. 46 now. 8.30 is for me very late to wake up. A housekeeper came around just after 8 actually and she's so wonderful. She is from Hungary so I could say Jorigelt in the morning and she was so excited and she hugged me and she was like she hugged me and kissed me and I was like that's so kind of you to say in Hungarian so it was so nice. I really really enjoy these good mornings in other languages because I'm learning so many and it's really incredible because yesterday i was an audi girl and i did not go to bed after cleaning my wardrobe today i'm really gonna sort this messy situation out before all the email correspondence start so i'm gonna finish the unpacking and then actually like at some point today i would also like to i'm gonna have to do some work but then <laughs> like administrational you know like the boring stuff that nobody wants to see but then actually i would like to do some sort of uh, like wardrobe cleaning clearing out to just clear some stuff out that i haven't been wearing because when i redid my wardrobes i um put a lot i cleared out a lot of stuff but since then there's a lot of things that i was like mm, i never go for this this is not a good place for this blah 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 just because you kind of have to get to know your wardrobe in order to know what's the best for it so that's the plan i'm actually going to accommodate it all and make it a little bit better I think that's about it. I just wanted to say how I noticed that my piercings are shining so much more since the thermal bath. And that's because sometimes for these um, gold, for gold, um, thermal water is sometimes really good for cleaning and all of a sudden they shine. I remember they told us this and when we were in Blue Lagoon in Iceland, they said like put your gold in Blue Lagoon because it will like shine again. It's so incredible, but it's like I guess the chemical reaction which makes sense. Coffee is here in my Hawaii cup. That's my souvenir from Hawaii. We really need to get working. A little update. I'm doing pretty well. I have sorted most of the things uh, in this room, but I, like I said, I want to kind of reorganize, so that will take some time. I made myself some breakfast. So I've got like blueberry, raspberry, yogurt, and granola. third coffee of the day and I tidied everything while I was tidying I my phone's like going crazy while I was tidying I actually was watching you guys are gonna think I'm crazy like anybody would think I'm crazy my parents watching this probably are gonna be like but I was watching your 2020 life path number predictions what is coming for you do I believe in that stuff I don't know but it's fun it's fun to like it's just like a new thing I discovered and like it's gonna get like be stuck with me for the next five days and then I'll move on and that's just how I am but it's really interesting for me to hear about this and to watch that so you know why not hmm interesting for the first time in a long time I have a clear floor I am very happy about that. Also, I have received, okay, not a clear chair. I have some stuff that I'm getting rid of there. I have received something from Zara that I bought. I got inspired by my friend Mandy. It's your fault, yes. Uh, and I told her literally like, I I'm gonna buy this. And she's like the bestest person in the world. She like pulled her phone out opened Zara website where she purchased it I guess and was like take a picture of this this is the order like this is the item number and this is the like barcode and everything and I was like I'm ordering it now and it's a pair of trousers they're black trousers that look like this so I'm gonna try them on now to show you what they look like on because it's kind of difficult to show I ordered size extra small never ordered extra small before normally I order small but the thing is that my waist is pretty small so if the trousers are big in the waist it's a little bit like nah you know so i'm gonna try them on now maybe they won't fit but let's see here are the trousers i hope you will be able to see them well this is weird but even the extra small is a little bit big on me look and it's not that i'm skinny it's just my waist like 
like because here they're really fine like on the hips you know they really fit it's just that uh, my waist is not like i guess in proportion with the rest of my body which is weird but this is what they look like i think they're so cool i'm gonna show you as well on the other angle because i don't think the light is here the best i just quickly styled them <laughs> kind of to show you with my bedon heels but not like this on top i haven't styled anything obviously are you ready to see the top this is it like you know the kind of like looks like it has a skirt can you remove that no you can't that's it it's together the tag is still here because i was like let's see if they fit they fit so i'm gonna remove this tag because i really like the trousers 79 pounds i don't normally talk about prices but just so that you can see the material as well i kind of think that 79 pounds for zara trousers is a lot of money but i really hope because they're black and they're quite cool that i will wear them a lot or many 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 times and actually like my trousers section is getting filled up quite nicely like jeans and trousers so hoping that it's actually something that i do reach out for a lot i'm gonna inform you about it at the moment i'm keeping them i like them i don't know if you guys are gonna be interested but i'm gonna leave a link or an article number it is 8132002800 so that's your article number in case you want to buy them i'm sorry boring today you know because nothing's really going on i'm actually feeling a little bit lazy as well but there's no time for laziness so oh i just remember i need to open the advent calendars as well right i'm watching currently many tutorials on how to manage your tasks and staff and team better so the next video that's on my like watch list is 10 best project management tools for teams in 2019 which i'm gonna look at next i'm currently watching thanks to one of you uh, everything you can do with monday.com uh, because someone has recommended in one of my videos um this tool so i'm just like looking at it and checking if it's like worth paying for so i'm gonna check that next and um you guys asked me like what are my suggestions on managing and things like that i think like because i'm quite creative I wouldn't say I'm the best like management person and also I'm still learning because even though you know I've been running my company for like I think like for six years like proper company but I've been doing obviously this for way longer I still you know like only started working with like team like as an in-house team maybe three or four years ago it's like really great because there's a lot of more stuff that you can do and you start getting so much better but now my team has grown so significantly Camilla's calling me now my team has grown so significantly that i really need to figure out a better way to manage so i'm gonna pick this phone up and then i'll get back to you on that okay because i realized i haven't opened these babies in a while and i'm sure you guys would like to see them where did we end i think the next one because i've been traveling i was in switzerland so i haven't opened a few days so let me catch up next one's 15 and it looks like it's an ornament with the logo of uh, maison christian dior as you can see so beautiful you can see the same logo over here number 16 that has kind of fallen out probably because of shaking it up a bit it's the rose ispahan uh soap oh smells beautiful very clean lovely then we have 17 am i still allowed to keep open okay this is alice Gris Dior, Gris Dior, I think. And this is actually a fragrance that Henry uses. So it's going to remind me of him. 18. Ah, here. Wow. I love these little body butters. They're actually really moisturizing and smell wonderful. And this one is Jasmine, Jasmine de Angers. I don't know how you pronounce that. And I don't want to kill it. Have 19 somewhere. 19. Ah, my favorite. I will actually keep this in my bag. And it is Amber Nui. You guys, you know, I've written a blog post and I have listed my favorites from Maison Christian Dior. It's not sponsored. It's just purely coming from my own interest and my own likes. So check it out. And number 20 oops oh spice blend very christmasy i love it i have two of the spice blend fragrances full size i have two different sizes so a smaller and the bigger one and i love this and now let's also open my wonderful advent calendar from harrods i'm so curious what's in here we can't really see it easily anyway that's not, that's not yet sorry i'm such a child i think we got to 14 so number 15 and also this is not so easy to open with left hand i say this every time and i'm sure i annoy you but hopefully you will forgive me bio effect egf serum for improved appearance of skin i have no idea what this is but i'm gonna read and look it up who's texting me wait camilla 
She's asking me which picture to post. Sometimes my friends do that. Wow, they're all amazing. Okay, I'm gonna tell her to post carousel. Very easy for me to decide, actually. It's always been so easy for me to decide. It's incredible. It's like probably like the easiest thing. I'm a very decisive person. It's quite interesting because I'm Pisces. Usually, I don't think we're supposed to be so decisive, right? Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is very exciting because I can put it in my bag and it's a small size. This is really heavy, whatever it's in 17. Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. Ah, no, I thought it was something else, but this is also equally exciting and i've never used this before so very interesting that was in 17 let's keep going number 18 in here we got valmon moisturizing eye c gel maybe it's vitamin c or maybe not i don't know just so you know that's what's in here 19 when it comes to skincare i'm gonna be honest i don't really experiment that much you know i like to try new things but i have my holy grail you know products Ooh. Oh, this is exciting smudge proof eyeshadow base from NARS and actually I don't have this I've never had this and you guys know how much I love NARS products especially the eyeshadows so I can use them together now the last for today is number 20 Harrods advent calendar is honestly like spectacular wow what is this I love Dr. Dennis Gross so much alpha beta ultra gentle daily peel this is really cool it says a patented two-step peel with three acids to help smooth fine lines minimize the look of pores improve the appearance of uneven to a texture achieve clinical results at home love dr dennis gross especially his alpha beta peels or like two-step peels etc okay so what i was saying last time before my phone rang for the billionth time today i've been like a terrible vlogger first of all today my phone rang so much who called me today so my mom twice uh, my brother-in-law henry a few times which is fine Spoke to Camilla for a while, spoke to a friend, from, my friend from back home, spoke to Marcella two times, spoke a lot <laughs> on the phone today and even like my friend from university like texted me today and like spoke to her. So it was a heavy communication day which is why I haven't actually vlogged much but I have one more thing to do and then I'm gonna leave this office space finally and go to the other room because I think I'm done for the day even though I really enjoy spending time here. I'm burning a candle. Here's the one I'm burning right now. It's cold. Well, I'm not gonna try and pronounce this. I think I've done, I've done enough of French for you to like, for French people to hate me in this video. So it smells really beautiful and it's one of my favorite scents as well from the Dior. I'm really trying to organize everything and to use softwares which will kind of help me organize the team and the tasks and the place in the best time efficient manner. If you have any tips, please share them with me. And then I would like to kind of maybe share my tips once I have. So once all of you leave me some tips, on team management and how to be as efficient when it comes to time management and people management i will then try and collate one video in which i share all the tips with you i think that would be really good that's basically it i was waiting for a dhl to come whole day but now i'm gonna unbox it show you what's in it and then i'm gonna get ready because i'm gonna go to hospital again to visit my friend i've been waiting whole day you know for this parcel so that i can go and see him other than that i actually managed to tidy my office it's really in pristine condition now that makes me extremely happy i kind of have to do a lot of stuff in my bedroom because that's actually really important the box looks very small i think i ordered bulkier, bulkier stuff this is something i've wanted for a while now but i could never find it it was always sold out it's from one of my beloved brands i shopped a lot from this brand and you guys know dun, 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 dun. it's from acne studios and honestly this is so beautiful i got a suit you guys are gonna see it I, I cannot wait to try it on but i hope it fits me because not wait let's see oh wow it's beautiful Okay, I'm gonna try the trousers on as well, and then I'm gonna show you. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so obsessed with this. This is so nice. I'm gonna take it off, and then I'll tell you all the sizes that I got and so on. But this is, like, this jacket is a dream. I could wear this as it is so many times. I love that it's so cinched in waist. I haven't knit underneath, but I actually also got a body that will work perfectly underneath this. I love this blazer so much. And then I got the trousers too, which look like this. I'm actually on my toes because I intend on wearing it with heels because otherwise it's a little bit too long. I'm really into these kind of trousers and clothing of this type lately as you could have 
scene. Acne is like honestly doing so great, such a really good job with everything and this is so my style. I am obsessed. So I want to show you also the body that I got for underneath. I actually really need something like this. Can you see it? It has a little like a half a turtleneck. It's also from Acne. I got the body in size small, but it's of like beautiful kind of cottony stretch material and it's not like a tongue at the back or something ridiculous like that. It's just really comfy, you know? There we go. Very comfy. So I love it. So the bodysuit is in size small. I think it's really gonna last me. It's a classic piece, you know, it has a zip at the back, long sleeve. I think it's also good value for money because it was around 100 pounds. And then I got the, I got the jacket in French size 36 and I think this is perfect. And I got the trousers in size 34. 36 is often very big for me in waist, like I said, for the Zara. But not big, like, I'm really not a tiny skinny person. I'm like, I think my build is like, I hate using the word normal, because I don't think anything is normal and, you know. But I don't think I'm tiny, it's just that otherwise things are very big on my waist and then nothing else fits. Like, it's just ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do is like try and like tidy up my bedroom a little bit. It's really crazy what's going on over there, so I really don't want it to be like that. I need to tidy it a little bit, like for half an hour. I call it like power tidy and then I'm gonna get dressed to go to hospital, so I'm not gonna vlog that as well because like I told you yesterday it's really like inappropriate and you know but I have to tell you what I'm doing because otherwise you're not gonna see a realistic picture of my life but yeah that's it I'm just like really happy that it's kind of coming to the end not of vlogmas because I'm really enjoying vlogmas this year I think this is the vlogmas I've enjoyed the most so far and I can't believe we're coming almost to the end four fifths are done is that correct yeah i'm actually happy that it's coming to the end of the year so that i can just like take it easy relax sleep eat and watch movies if you have any movie recommendations or tv show recommendations or netflix stuff recommendation please let me know because i would love you forever we literally have no space to move around that's the problem so i have mess here mess here mess here mess everywhere my phone is constantly I literally have around 30 minutes to try and power tidy this room as well because I have 30 minutes to power tidy because I really need to go. Of course, it's raining again. It's a little bit like November weather, even though it's December. And the reason why, actually, I don't know what's the reason because I'm not a meteorologist. I'll never forget there was this one November. I was still at university it was raining every single day and night without an exception like there was never a moment that i was out and it was dry never I just found this box from my aldo shoes i don't know if you guys saw these shoes this is not sponsored by the way but i got these aldo shoes which are more appropriate like high street appropriate for people that would like to buy some party shoes they're so beautiful they're like fully crystallized kind of similar to the prada ones that i have and i think they're just really cool for the party season so if you're looking something extra for the upcoming holidays that would be cool i'll show you now here we are look how sparkly they are people immediately get surprised if i'm showing shoes that are not like i don't know gucci or bottega this is high street i used to like wear a lot more of aldo when i was a student but look at this sparkle 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 little crystals like i said this is not sponsored but i really enjoy these shoes i think they're pretty fabulous okay now i have to go back to the bedroom and continue tidying ever visiting you in hospital let me tell you i'm not gonna come empty-handed i will always come with pizza or whatever you request or demand because that's how i like to do it 10 25 exhausted but it's really not about me um you know like spending time in a hospital really like you get reminded that there's always someone that has a worse and for me it's like the hardest part is like seeing people like families and stuff in the hospital like other people you know that's for me usually the worst or just i don't know like also seeing some children and things like that that's you guys know how i feel about that i got back home I'm still in the same spot i'm actually responding to your dms there's so many wonderful dms a lot of questions i basically try to respond to well i'm like really good on twitter because there i kind of respond like daily if it's like a short question on youtube i try to respond to every single question usually at the end of the day or maximum it takes me two days in case i am traveling 
I always try to respond. DMs, I don't always respond. There's way really too much on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, I would appreciate if you would because I'm trying to really create a strong community of people that care about fashion and travel and a certain type of life lifestyle and are not just there as a part of, I don't know, like... I want like a strong community. I don't want you guys just to be there so that I can sell something you know because i never wanted that i never needed that i want to have a community and that's what i always wanted to have so for me that means the world it's 11 05 so it's a little bit late and i still haven't tidied my bedroom i want to do that latest tomorrow i'm gonna ask my sister to help me because i think i'll require some help i'll take you still with me a little bit because i don't think this vlog is gonna have any interesting content whatsoever i do apologize for that but you know like i, I haven't really pre-planned the vlogmas like i said before i haven't been trying to kind of pretend to be something or to show you certain thing and not show you the reality this is the reality some days are just nothing some days are just like me kind of trying to put two ends like together and be like what is my life even let's try and kind of put it all together i'm sure you guys have days like that as well where you're just like assisting everything and i think you know that's important i think it's important that not all days are like today but also that not all these are like running around the airport packing and packing going taking pictures and kind of revolving around me today i needed to be there for other people and i think that's you know how life should be i think some days we just have to kind of you know be there for other people that was today so yeah anyway i'll i'll get to the bedroom and i'll kind of start clearing out until i fall asleep but i'll update you more guys i don't really know if i should vlog this this is embarrassing. I am in my sister's bathroom. She's having a shower. I literally never let the woman breathe without me. This is how close we are. If You know, like when people ask me, why don't you move away and let your sister breathe? Because she'll move with, in with you then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I, this is my favorite time of the day. I sit, like, fully dressed, of course, on my sister's, in my sister's bathroom. I'm on the toilet, she's having a shower and we're we're chatting because I miss her so much. Like if she's in the shower without I'm basically like a child. This is our catch up time. Anyway, I just wanted to ask you guys if any of you sit with your sisters while they're having shower and also is that a normal thing to do? Because I don't think it is. <laughs> but I don't think it's illegal. I don't think it quite is. Let me know if I'm the crazy person it's that should crazy. be institutionalized. So what you are, this. your person who loves her sister. So I've just arrived home and you can't deal with the fact that we'll be separated for seven minutes. Or even worse, seven hours that I'll be asleep for. So we've just finished our catch up and my tetita is asleep. <laughs> Yeah, no, the sister, the older <laughs> sister, the ultimate one. This is what Vlogmas does, even to the strongest ones of us. <laughs> it's not even Vlogmas, I think it's chronic condition. <laughs> of narcolepsy that came. <laughs> oh, I love this blanket, it's so cozy. Okay, you can sleep here then, and I'll find you here in the morning. <laughs> At least coffee is closed. Yeah, coffee is closed. Yeah. You won't have any problems. I think it really is time to say goodnight, you guys. I'll... I'm only filming half of your head. Is that fine? <sighs> I mean, you only have one job, and that is to frame me correctly. But, but you know what? The hat is so big. That <laughs> it can't really fit. <laughs> Who needs enemies? <laughs> but family like this. Oh. Have a good night, everybody. Love you. Good night.